Hello everybody, this is Hina and welcome to another tutorial of Delenia Marketing. Today I am going to create a custom type text with the illuminating effect or the glowing effect. So let's start now. What I'm going to do, because I'm just creating a simple background layer. I am currently I'm working in the RGB color mod. So and the uh, uh, just creating a background layer here. So then I'm showing you how you can check it if you are not aware. So I'm using this gradient and uh, now change the color to simply like this. And here you can also change the color to the darker shade of blue. So I want to go more on the black side. So I think this one is good. So it looked like this. Now what I'm going to do, I'm selecting this and going to the object lock and select control two. Okay, so it will the link the layer is locked now, so you can work on it. It will not displaced uh, during the work. Now uh, to show the color mart, what I'm going to do, I'm here in file document color mart is RGB. So make sure that you are work, working on the RGB. But otherwise, if you will work in the CMYK color mode, then this uh, illusion or this uh, sort of illumination that we want to show, it will not exactly show up as we want. Okay, so make sure that your color mode is RGB. Now I'm taking this type 2 and uh, here I'm writing happy holiday. And uh, make sure that uh, the H is common in two wordings happy holidays so I want to keep a centralized edge so here I'm just a skeleton up and now I'm going to change the color to grayish white I'm just giving you a very simple and easy way of uh, doing these sort of uh, illuminations so it will be quite easy for you if you are learning and you are new to illustrator and you can you can easily adopt this uh, technique and you can work on it okay so now what I'm going to do I'm changing the font here I'm using the chopping script. It's a uh, you know free font. You can easily download it from the font.com. Otherwise, you can take it from my website. I'm also giving you the template uh, uh, of uh, this file, so you can also take it. Uh, so and now what I'm going to do, I'm just uh, converting the layers into out, uh, outlines. You can just click it over it and right click and uh, create outlines. And here I'm going to select and clean and now I'm going to ungroup it so it will look like this. So the layers are now champ. You can easily walk on the custom layers of letters now so what I'm going to do I am just increasing and scaling the size of this pitch and here I want to place it in the middle and now I'm going to adjust these letters to our work and now we are going to make sure the things are not overlapping and in a, in a messy mode. So things we have to keep, keep take care of all these things. Okay. So you can now select all and now place it in the middle of your background like this. Now. What I'm going to do, I'm just selecting each and everything together and press Ctrl G to group it up. Okay. And this time we are going to create into before uh, creating a, you know, a shadow of what we are going to do. We are creating Ctrl C and Ctrl F to place in same place. But before this, I want to take this layer that we already grouped it before. Now we are going to into the effect, stylize and drop shadow. Okay, so preview it, how it will look like. So you can see just like this. It's looking like this. Now I want to show you how it looked like this. It's looking like this now. Okay, so I am placing it here again. And now, 
what I'm going to do, I'm going into the effect section here in blur and now using the Gaussian blur and preview it. Increase this, increase or decrease the size so you can level it accordingly. I want to increase it. Uh, uh, actually, it's the digital uh, version, so I want to increase it. And uh, now you can look into it and it's showing the illumination or the defining effect. So we place it here. And next, before doing these things, I want to take this one, the above one, due to illumination, it's not uh, selecting. So what I'm going to do now, I'm taking this one and just creating a simple gradient to it, but the shade of the gradient color here, I want to take a little simple, this is too much, so I want to make a little here you can also do this something like this if you are not happy with this color then you can also change it in a different way so i want to take it i want to select it like this and here i want just a darker version of this yellow might be this one but not the orangish I don't want orange but I want this okay here you can place it just like this make sure the all layers are aligned so it will be look like this after doing these things so this is a simple kind of thing that we can do we can play with this and uh, uh, you can see how the difference is coming up by just changing the color. If you want, you can also change the fill color as well. Like this, for example, I'm using this color. So you can see how the things are changing. If I'm changing to this color, so you can see you can play with the colors as well. And you can define different illusion of colors here. And uh, it will turn it accordingly. So with the darker shade, it will be look like this. Okay, but I want to go with this one. Okay, because it's showing like a bulb or whatever. There's the illumination effect is good uh, with this color. So I want to go with this one. Otherwise, it's up to you. It's just a technique that I want to show uh, uh, show you that how can you create a mess, illusion of a glow of just by using the simple techniques in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching. I will come back to you another tutorial. Have a very good day. Bye-bye and subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you so much.